Hey guys, so today I want to compare the iPhone 4 with the latest version, of, the latest beta at the moment of iOS 7, beta 5 when I'm doing this video on the left side here, and then we do have uh, iOS 7 beta 4 here on the right side, and we'll be going over some of the changes. So if you just go uh, first into settings here, and uh, let's just go to general and go to about, so you can see the what I am running here so you can see here that it is the uh, the old beta 4 is the 11a 4435d and the new is 11a 4449a that's the beta 5 so start off here with some small new changes uh, if you go into accessibility uh, in the new beta, uh, beta 5, uh, you do have a, a feature here to customize on and off labels. So you can see on and off labels on these on and off switches. You can see here, uh, and then you can see when you change it, it kind of becomes like this line. So if you do want to have that, it may be a little bit easier to see if something is on or off. Uh, you can have that. Another thing uh, that also has been updated is uh, if you go to privacy here, if you try here to go to privacy as well on the earlier beta. So it's going to go back and uh, let's see, we'll go to privacy, go down to microphone. You can see that you that will have like an option here. Let's see here. Uh, you will have an option. I'm not sure if it's available on the iPhone 4 though, uh, but on the iPhone 5 at least uh, You do see some apps that's using the microphone and you should be able to in the new beta have more control of uh, Which apps that is allowed to use the microphone uh, Maybe this because I have to install an app, but uh, that is uh, one new addition as well uh, One pretty big addition a new thing here uh, of course is that when we are inside of the settings area here, you can see that on the earlier beta, it's, it's all blue here on the side, uh, at least here on the top. Uh, on the new beta, you can see that you have these kinds of colorful icons, which looks pretty goddamn sweet. Another uh, update that they have done is that uh, when we scroll down like this okay wait a sec we can't see this on the iPhone uh, 4 uh, but if you do this on the iPhone 5 and go down here in notification center you can see some Yahoo that uh, the stocks and the weather is like from Yahoo uh, they have also added a new Twitter icon inside of the browser so if you just click on that sharing button here you can see on the left side the new Twitter button which is the bird is now blue and the background is white and our little feature that they have added is in control center you can now disable that inside of apps so if you go down here in settings to control center, you see that have, have this new access with uh, within apps. So if you don't want control center to pop up inside of apps, if you like play a game and you're, you accidentally pop that up, then you can quickly disable that. If you don't know what control center is, it is of course this new in iOS 7 that when you scroll up from the bottom, this is the control center. So if you don't want that to open up, let's say when you're inside of the browser, like you can see that I can pull off here. Let's say you only wanna have it on the home screen. Uh, what I can do is I just go into settings and uh, into control center, use access within apps, I use disable that, and now I can't open it up. But if I want to open up right now, I can just go to the home of my iPhone and you swipe up and you can see that it fully works without any problems. You can see we don't have that option over here. Uh, overall, of course, also we see you should see some performance uh, improvements. So you can see here that when we swipe down, this is on the iPhone 4, uh, and we change pages here, it's extremely smooth compared to beta 4 uh, on the iPhone, iPhone 4. So very, very nice. And uh, you can also see overall, like when we do it like this, 
it's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot more smooth than uh, earlier betas. You can also see that when we unlock the device, they're perfectly smooth there. And uh, if we continue on, uh, also the mic tab so you can open up the camera a little bit quicker. They also have a new slide to power off, so when you hold in the power button, if you want to turn off your iPhone, you can see that on the new, on the left side here, it's a little bit more compact, uh, the console and the slide to power off button. You can also see that the animation here is a little bit different. It uh, fades out uh, more of the iPhone, iPhone, iPhone 4, I was 7 beta 5 update. And uh, if we continue on here to some other new additions, uh, when you are inside of a call, uh, you have some new icons or uh, they have added an update so you will see more circles uh, around the icons when you are inside of a call and maybe a little bit bigger icons as well. Uh, another thing is that when you get the uh, pull down notifications uh, up here, you can, uh, or pull down banner uh, in the new beta 5, you can just simply drag it down and uh, enhance it and make it bigger and open up full notification center uh, area. Uh, also, the kind of blur effect might be a little bit uh, different uh, compared to earlier versions here of betas and of course minor improvements across the whole system and another thing also is that if you do have the white iphone or at least uh, this only works on the iphone 5 but if you do have the white iphone 5 and install the latest beta 5 then you will get when you boot up the device you will get a black apple logo and a white background instead of the other way around uh, so i did get that on my white iphone 5 uh, and then also in messages in that little app uh, that you probably will see over here. Uh, earlier in betas, it was the, so you saw the first name and then the initials of your last name, but now it seems like they're going back to only show the first name. So just quickly overview here of some of the new additions. Uh, you might find more additions or new features as well. If you want to see anything specific in a video, please let me know about that, and I'll see what I can do. But uh, thanks for watching this video. If you do like, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace out.